Hey internet, and welcome to another episode of Insert Podcast here, the world's most inconsistent podcast on the web. I'm regular co-host Darren. And I'm Brock. And here with us we have a special guest, Mr. Devin Ortuna, depending on what we decide to call you. Hey. Yeah, basically, we're going to talk about the Nintendo Direct conference that happened, but first, as usual... On sub- <clears throat> April 17th. April 17th. Nintendo That's Direct important. conference, April 17th, but first... We're going to talk about what we've been playing real quick, and then we'll get right to business. So, Brock, why don't you start us off, and we'll go... I've been playing a shit ton of Minecraft. That you have. Like, an obscene amount of Minecraft the past couple days. Yes. Yes, you have. Other than that, that's about it. That's all I've been playing. Nothing noteworthy? Just, you know, starting a server, you know, playing with a bunch of friends. Yeah. The the, the typical. Yeah. Good fun. Uh, Me, personally, I've played Minecraft with uh, Brock and Darren. Um bit of World of Warcraft, kind of a guilty pleasure that I don't get to do as much. Pleasure. 11 million, or 9 million people play it. Oh, um, fine. It's still the most popular. I'm one of 9 million see. people. Well, there you go. Um, Be proud of that. The terrible new Dead Space that has been ported to PC, and it's no. a terrible port. I was going to say. Don't do it. It's, a, it's, it's bad. R- it's terrible. Um, I'm kind of um, um, played a bit of the new SimCity, because it's fantastic, and every time I play it, my cities end up exploding at some point, because <laughs> I do something stupid. And that's Sounds about like it. playing it right, then. Oh, I know, right? Well, they don't explode, it just, you I know, just... I get, a, like, $30,000 per hour deficit, you know. <laughs> I just wanted to talk, say something about SimCity. Uh, new patch is coming out soon, like a major patch. Yeah, did you also see that if you bought the Deluxe Edition, you get um, a free add-on to your game of Nissan Leaf uh, electrical cars that you can put through your city? No, I did not So that. people start buying electrical char- cars and you can have charging stations nice. for them? I, I really hope they add um, the, uh, what's it called? Like, they actually fix the simulation for traffic. Yeah. Have you seen, like... The simulation for traffic is absolutely terrible. Yeah, yeah. it's um, really bad. One of the reasons my last city um, exploded, I was making, um, like, for a monthly profit, it was, like... One uh, four point eight million dollars for a month, right? But for some reason, I wasn't actually making any money because none of my cars to go and sell things could get out of my city because the traffic was so bad. Yeah, it was, <laughs> That's so I was making all this money, but Where do I not go making to this money. But I'm actually kind of curious. You said you think Dead Space isn't very good because I've heard a lot of people. Well, no, I know no, get, don't get me wrong. Just in your opinion, Dead just Space, your Dead Space Three on three sixty is. Awesome. I haven't. I don't like. I've played ninety percent of it on three hundred and sixty. Mm. But when, um, basically, when you bought SimCity or pre-ordered yeah. it, you got a free game, right? Because and fucked up on the list, all the other games I had except for Dead Space Three. So I was like, mm. well, I have a free game. I might as well use it. So I got the Dead Space Three for PC. The problem is the port to PC is so terrible. It is so hard to even do anything. Like, when you go into, like, a workbench to make a gun, it is so hard to navigate through there. You end up not even using your mouse. It's a console mm. UI, isn't it? Oh, it is. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's god-awful. There's so many games that are guilty of that nowadays. It's just... Far Cry is pretty bad I, I, I would, I would like to suggest... I would like to suggest buying Dead Space 3, but not for PC. Mm, fair enough. Don't buy it for PC. Sim- very similar case with Dark Souls. It has one yes. of the most horrendous, straight to PC, no effort. Yeah. That is the worst port I've ever seen. <laughs> my it, favorite part is you go to the tutorial and then it changes the message to say what button the, on the keyboard you press. It, it says it says Xbox press the A button, press the B button, press the Y button. <laughs> You're like, what the fuck? And and the game is locked to 720p resolution. Thank God. Oh, it's thank- locked. No, 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 no. The um, if you get Dead Space, it's locked to a what is it, twelve eighty by seven sixty oh, or seven twenty or whatever. It's you can't make it any bigger. You can't change it. You can't change it. So it's, no, like, like no. Well, you can make it smaller. <laughs> but you can't make Thank it any God bigger than that for the Dark Souls Nexus because they've done a they've made so many mods that fix a lot of the problems. Yeah, remember that game. mod that came out like the first I showed you. I was like, yeah, I, I heard about this mod. And it was like, it's like day one. Somebody's like, no, I got. I, I there's fix like this. no way I'm letting this stay locked at 720p for for a out. fucking PC game. This is insane. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'll just say what uh, basically yeah. all I've really played of note is Minecraft with you guys and. Happy to say, I finally beat Half Life One this morning. Brock was there to witness Woo! it. Small, slow laughter for Brock. Yes. Yes. I'm, so, so I'm so proud of you. <coughs> and you finally, you don't, you don't even the understand. rest of the world. Like the time you, when I beat Deus Ex, and you were like proud of me. I was just beaming with pride, going, "I recommend that game to you," and you beat uh, it, loved it, and you did. You did Half Life like I told you to. Yep, I did it. 
I'm so proud. proud. I'm so proud. And I've also played a little bit of, wait for it, Shin Megami Tensei Devil Summoner Soul Hackers for the 3DS. I um, played a little bit of that. Atta boy. How is that game anyway? So I've far? Been so far? Getting really bad reviews. It's been getting real. I gotta well, say, I should say this. Here's what I say. Here's my little bit on that. A lot of the reviewers going into it, like on Games Radar, Henry Gilbert, I don't want to be throwing it. It's like that when Colin Moriarty, IGN, was trashing oh. Castlevania. Yeah, you don't want to you don't want to blame the entire group no. of people when it's just one sole person doing. Yeah, it. when Henry Gilbert, he's the Shimagami Shimaga Tensei expert. I said in quotations because he's really only played the Persona games and like the more recent games, which are like watered down versions of the Shimagami Tensei franchise. Soul Hackers came out in 1997 for the freaking Sega Saturn Japan only. It's an old game. I don't know. He went into it expecting like Persona, and I don't know why he would do that. Because it's a very different kind of game, but it still plays. It, it plays a lot better than I thought it would. Like especially the encounter rate. You thought that like in the nineties, all the encounter rates are through the roof. Oh yeah. This one's actually yeah. pretty tame, which is surprising, especially in a Shimagami Tensei game where they're normally ridiculous. There's demons everywhere. <laughs> the, the, my favorite part is the talking, the chat, because you can talk to demons in all the Shimagami Tensei games. It's not yep. fucked here. In Persona Two, you have to spend like. 20 minutes in a battle trying to get a demon to like you so it gives you tarot cards or something. In this game, it's like, yo, you, you want to join a party demon? He's like, yeah. Right. And you're like, okay, that was easy. And then you move on. Or you can, Deal. or if you have, like, say I had like a pixie in my party and I was fighting a pixie. I talked to her she's like, oh, one of my friends joined you. I'm not going to fight you and she just leave the battle. And all the other demons are kind of standing there going like, what the fuck? Like, uh, and you can you can talk to all of them individually, so you can potentially recruit all of them or piss all of them off. Wasn't one of the uh, the main complaints by him that it was nothing like Persona? Probably. I, one of his main <laughs> complaints it, it, they said um, outdated game mechanics and like a very like uh, I think it was dated dated cutscenes or something like that. Oh my god, they're going to CG cutscenes, yeah. which are like. 20 seconds and they just show I'm pretty one sure that feature. was one of the main like actual like, negative points of the game that yeah. you put on the side I can't stand I saw it I was like, like oh Jesus my god if that review's true I'm like Darren got Jude again no it's <laughs> again. actually so far it's like, <laughs> well he bought Mirrors of Fate and like did you buy Mirrors of Fate I did but did I, I only bought because I didn't agree with the review of it and I played yeah. it I, it's definitely like a 6 or 7 have game have you played the most recent Castlevania for like handled like 360 Lords of yeah. Shadow yeah I have I played through uh, like what, most what of it feel about that it was okay. Yeah. It's kind of cool seeing a different take on the Castlevania lore like that. Yeah. But it's definitely, if you're going, it's a lot better than every other 3D Castlevania game. Um, well, I've I've yeah. beaten it. Uh, I beat it on the hardest difficulty. Um, I think you liked it, though. And it was, I, I played through once, and it was super easy. The final boss mm. on normal was... Um, Satan. You fight which is Satan. Satan. He is Satan. Yes, you, you, you fight Satan as the final boss. It's interesting, because there's like... Religion in this game. Well, and it's no, like a well, big no. part of like, it. When you go through the entire game, all the bosses are fairly easy to defeat. Yeah. Even the, the, the giant fucking bone dragon yeah. is still fairly easy to defeat. When you get to Satan, you have to do stupid shit like it's to get bolt, near him. Bolt hell you game. have to swap between your two energy types while running towards him. It's a bolt hell game. It fights Satan. Ridiculous. But when you get to him on the hardest difficulty, it the the you have to like tap them together to be able to get through because the lines of the walls to get through are so close together that if you like spend any amount of time or you're slow at it, you get knocked down and you pretty much get one shot. It's done. And I spent probably about three hours trying to defeat Satan on the hardest difficulty because it was ridiculous. But goddamn, was that like after the credits cutscene awesome? Oh my god. And the fact that it's what? Modern day. Five discs? Yeah. On the 360 at least. It really is an epic, like, saga, because mm -hmm. you, you play through it, by the time you get through the first disc, it's like 20% complete in the game, and you're like, what the hell? It's like a 20-hour well, game. It, it's it really is. The Xbox isn't using, like, Blu-ray. No, well, no, I'm just even, saying, though, even if it was a Blu-ray disc, it would have been, yeah, 20 hours of gameplay. On one disc? On one disc. Well, Could you, like, how many games now can you get, like, in a main campaign... Do you get like twenty to depending on how quickly even, you do it? Twenty to thirty hours. Yeah. yeah, twenty to thirty hours of constant action gameplay, and it's linear too. It's not like yes. it's side quest. Well, there there are a few side things yeah. you can do, but, but this not is like many. pretty much the main yeah. thing. So by the time you get to even the like the last disc, you're like, 
Oh my god, I'm so close. But then, so drained. then you yeah. get to Satan, and you spend, like, even on normal, I spent probably, like, 45 minutes trying to kill him. Yeah. But th- I just, I liked it because it brought me back to when I was younger, and because I'm old. Um, <laughs> I'm old. Oh, you're so um, old. It brought me back to when games actually had substance to them. Like, yeah. you didn't just sit down and, oh, I'm done. And well, I beat the game. There's a lot of games back in the, like, back, you know, in the past that weren't really substance. They were just way harder. Yeah. The, the games were designed to be harder, so it took you longer to get through them. But and that games gave, weren't really designed. But that gave you, like, a feeling of substance to yeah. the game, though, right? Yeah, it did. Like, there's a lot of games in the past, like Monkey Island series, like Pointy Click Adventure games. Like, there's other games out there that they weren't necessarily designed to be, like, beaten. And to see you for to, to see yeah. everything. It would, you were there <coughs> for, like, a month solving puzzles and shit and you weren't even guaranteed the ending nowadays any game you go buy sixty dollars you will see you got yeah three to six hours of gameplay you're done and bro you you remember monkey island very fondly because of that right that's part of it yeah yeah, that shit was hard that's why you feel fulfilled and you remember it so fondly i have that second game and third game completely burnt into my memory and we both know what game we have burnt fondly into our memory borderlands 2 well well, yes (laughs) Because we spend how much time on there? Stupid amount. Nice little republic. <laughs> yes, because leveling experience was republic? fantastic. You know the game was great. Anyways, yeah. no, it's a uh, Crash Bandicoot warped. Oh god, I love that game. I know. How many hours did we spend on this sitting in your living room? I watched you play. Trying... I watched you do a time travel for, trial for like four hours on that almost. motorbike. Four hours trying to get just like... platinum because I was. Not a second, not half a second, but like a tenth of a second like off of getting platinum. Off of the platinum trophy. It was like That's, so it was wrong painful. Really like lot. four hours sitting there, and then you know you get to the point where you're like, you know what, I'm done, and you toss the controller across the room, and you just get up and you walk. One of those away. days we'll, yeah. we'll get them all. Oh yeah, we'll go back to it, but. It, that's that's why I like the long, epic saga games. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they it definitely does, more you have. It, it sits fondly with you. Like even though I'm sure Lords of Shadow, I'm in the in the time got some terrible reviews. Oh, but it did, yeah. and so many people were bashing on it for being, for a plagiarizing it. game. I enjoyed it because it was at least twenty hours of gameplay. It was high action. There were the bosses were more of a puzzle to defeat. Because you go into it, and there's like... Use a, your one combo to kill me, Kratos. Yeah. Square, square, triangle. Yeah. There's there's one where it's a bird. Uh, it's like a, a, a demon that turns into a bird, and you are on top of a tower, and the only way to kill it is by throwing these, these like, um, oil barrels that are on fire or whatever at it, and then it, like, gets dazed, and then you go hack it up, and then it flies away, and... The, the, the barrels just look like torches on the ground. Like, you don't even know you can pick them up until you walk mm-hmm. over to them. Yeah. Yeah, though, on that whole topic of games, having having that difficulty to add that substance of fulfillment to it, that's why I think Dark Souls is one of the best designed yes. games I've ever played. It's designed to get you pissed off. It's designed to make you die. That's the saying. I Prepare to die. I played that yet. It's worth playing. And you know what I loved about it at launch? There was no wiki for it. Nobody got I through the game right that way. Before. It was all... Do you know like... Is like back in the old school days of the NES when Legend of Zelda came out, and the only way to know how to get through that game was word of mouth through friends and Nintendo Power. Oh, yeah. That's what Dark Souls was like for me. Cause like I got it at launch, I play it nonstop at launch, and be me, a group of friends at university going, "Hey, do you know about this?" And we're like, "Oh shit, do you know about this?" No way. And that's how we found out about everything. Like There's the first a secret there. When you start the game, unless you played it before or you looked it up online, you would, you'd have no idea where to go. It's like you beat the tutorial level. Go. Here's the world. Go. I ended up going to the graveyard. I thought I could get through it. No. Zombies no. kept... The skeletons kept reviving and murdering me. Went a different way. Ghosts kept... I couldn't hurt the ghosts, and the ghosts killed me. And you find out through that. And, it's, and that's what... The thing is about the game design part of that. It's, it's all about the game itself teaching you how to play the game and how you learn through that. It's not a tutorial stream going, Hey! Press start to shoot! But... See, the problem with that nowadays, what I think, is that games... We've been babied so long... That we've kind of been, you know... But a counter to that is, though, we grew up in the time I, where we weren't baby. I know, we grew up in the time where we weren't baby. So but, we know about this kind of stuff. But yeah. I'm saying over time, yeah, the, the memory of that will fade. 
it's already it's already completely faded out of the mainstream of games. Well, that's because a lot of the gamers these days grew up with like the 360 and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. That's and thing. were babied all the way through. Like, oh, and unfortunately, that carries through, Xbox, bro. Yeah. And that's part of it, like even on Soul Hackers, people are complaining about how the game doesn't tell you everything. And it's like, yeah, why should it? It's a game. Yeah. Learn it, play it, discover. Yeah, Final Fantasy. I used to, I used to prefer Final Fantasy back in the day because you got a sense of discovery. Now it's just a hallway for you to explore. Yeah. Like, all, that's the big like that. open world Final Fantasies were great. The whole point was of it was discovery. Where do I go now? Exactly. I like that. Yeah. I really want to play through ten. Yeah, I, ten's a worthwhile play. I've played, play. I played really through fun. like thirty hours of ten too. But I never played own ten. ten too. Well, I played ten. I played a little bit of ten. Ten two is pretty garbage. Yeah, I actually own two copies of ten two. Well, ten two isn't. I wouldn't say garbage. It's just it's not. It's just fancy. very worthwhile to play yeah. through. There it's just fan service. The dress sphere system is pretty cool. The dress sphere it's just a jump system, system really with a different cool. name. Exactly. What's yeah. wrong with the jump system? But well, thing. not only that, but with the dress sphere system in it, they also made it so that when you put on different grids for it, yeah. if you change your shit around, like change from dress sphere to dress sphere, you got power ups for that fight too. So like on some of the final bosses, like if you go through and you like swap all your shit around so that you get all your bonuses, the bosses are so much easier. Yeah. But anyway, I think we should get back on topic because we've yes. had some pretty cool conversations. I like it; it's all good. But we have a direct conference we got to cover, and a yeah, shit do. ton of games to talk about. Indeed. Yeah. All right, which one do we start with? There's been so many. I think we should start. Let's start with the Wii U ones because there's a few of those, and everything else is like 3DS. Well, why don't we start with uh, Pikmin Three? Pikmin Three finally got a release date, August. I think it's six or something like that. August sixth or seventh. I don't know yeah. the exact date. Mm-hmm. And they but we finally got a release date, and I'm excited. They also showed one of the um, new, Pikmin. new Pikmin, which is flying pink Pikmin. Um, they showed that uh, how they're going to be useful. They can carry um, objects across water. Like those numbers. Uh, yeah, the numbers. Um, they can carry those across water. They can kill flying bugs. There's lots of uses that they're going to be using for those. A quick question: As someone who's never played the Pikmin games, are they how worth dare playing you? through? How dare you? Are they worth playing? How dare you? Yeah, they're like, really fun. Like, get out. Like, you, <laughs> it gives you, like, a time limit. It's just like, yeah. all right, you need to fix your ship and get off this planet or game over. Yeah. It's there. there it's another it's, game. It's, it's pretty challenging. It's another game that doesn't really tell you what to do. It doesn't really tell you what to do. do. Yeah, it it's like, it's another, that's, all. Back to like, the thing. That's going to yeah. pop up a lot, I, I'm guessing. Honestly, you just need yeah. to just play it. Like, you're probably going to lose. Play one, play two. I will. Well, what, Check them was out. was one the one with your ship problems or was yeah. that two? One was the ship problems. I can't remember what two was. That's the one. when you crash. Yeah, you crash into yeah. the Pikmin planet yeah. and you're like, oh shit, what is this? Pikmin. Ooh. Oh, oh, I got fall out of the ground. Yeah. So. All right. What else we got for Wii U aside from the very exciting news of Pikmin? Um, the DLC for Mario U making Luigi mm, U. New Luigi. Making you new. Luigi. Yeah. So basically, you play through the game as Luigi. The map, the like outside world, is um, the same. But every individual level is different. So, like the whole grid system where you go and pick your level, it's exactly yeah. the same. They didn't change. And they're it. all designed. I'm pretty sure to be way harder. Just like they are. Own. Time limits are shorter. Jump gaps are bigger. Well, like, um, Mark, the Luigi can jump up. Yeah. It, basically, all the levels. Did you say you've seen some of the levels? You're like going on that freaking bone thing, and there's yes. just things covered with those uh, spiky black things. No, the black ooze the black ones. Things yeah. covered in things? They're just everywhere. <laughs> yes. No, some shit, of the levels look things. absolutely... Re- they, some of the levels look like they the look bonus like the bonus levels. levels. Exactly. The bonus levels that that's are stupid cool. hard sometimes. Remember that bone coaster one? Oh my god. No, the, yeah, the bone coaster. The, the roller coaster one. Yeah, those that one was so, so much fun. fun. Oh god. But hey, remember the one where the, the ground all. disappeared? I have it for a Wii U. I haven't played it. Oh, fuck that one, dude. You couldn't do it with more than one person? You, there was a level that you couldn't do with more than one person. It was we Same tried. With the last one too. Yeah, the one with the spiky balls. Yeah, impossible. You can do that. Cool. But but someone with a tri- the gamepad could do could help because it would slow down the balls. Yeah, the, the ball slowing down helped a little yeah. bit. Mm-hmm. And every once in a while, like, placing a platform, you know, when you're. Yeah. So what else do we got for we? Is that about it, um, or is there another one? Uh, I think that's about actually. It. Because it is coming for the Wii U Virtual Console. Earthbound is finally getting a re-release here. Yes, it is. Finally. It's been... how After how many years of begging? It's been ever since the, the Virtual Console's announced for the Wii. People have been going, where the fuck's Earthbound? I remember back in, I think it was 2007, 
or 2006. It was a screw attack event. And yeah. I can't remember what it was called, but it was literally, um, they had a 24-hour marathon of them playing Earthbound. And you would phone into Nintendo, they had a hotline right at the bottom, and you phone into Nintendo and ask about the Mother Series coming to America. Like, one, two, well, no, one, those not the know, Earthbound is Mother in Japan. Yeah. Uh, mother one, Mother Zero, Mother One, and Mother Three. All they wanted them all to come to America, like getting yeah. translations. And I actually participated in that. I never played Earthbound at the time, but hey, I heard it was a good game, and I, you know, I helped them out. And they literally, I phoned them in. They're like, "This is my mother, isn't it?" I'm like, yeah. It's like, what's up? When's our mother getting with us? It's like, we've been getting this call like a lot today. This, this is weird. weird. This is weird. What? Because back then, Screen was as well known either. No, so it, it'd be it a lot was more really surprising. funny. It was it was pretty funny to experience that phoning up a call center. Mother is like a, <laughs> is Earthbound such a freaking cool game to play through? Because it's like a it's not really a game. Is it's more of an experience? Yeah. I'm ashamed to say that I've never played it. It's worth a playthrough. Like I don't care how you play it, but play through it. It's very interesting and it's really cool. How they work modern conventions, well, modern for the 90s, yeah. into a JRPG, which is really cool. Like, saving, you call your dad, and he's like, okay, I'll save your game for you. So you, like, go to, you go, you can go into, like, most stores. Don't worry, son, I got this shit. No, it's hilarious, he does do say that. <laughs> he's like, oh, we're, we're, the, we're great pals, aren't we, son? And you're like, sure, dad, sure, sure, sure dad. And you're never home. And the funny part is, you can, like, walk into people's houses, there'll be phones there. You can walk into, like, certain buildings. There'll be phones there. You can go to a paid booth and like pay $5 to use the phone. Cool. And then your debt, what happens is you don't get gold or items. Well, you get some items from battle, but directly you don't get mines. Go, oh, they drop the, that rat you beat the shit of, it give you five. If I give you five bucks. Because everything you're fighting is like Badass. mostly animals that gone crazy or. I'm going to go outside, shit. kick the shit out of a rat, and make it give no, me five bucks. No, the first time you fight a rat, you get five bucks. Dude, like, oh, there's, yeah, you, you get a baseball bat. You're beating shit to death with a baseball bat. Or I'm until they're tame. I, I, until I, they're tame. I, I saw okay. something. It's like that office space scene where they steal like the, the fax oh, machine the, and they oh just beat it up in the field for like scene. 20 minutes. Uh, I was going to say though, but you, what happens is you call your dad and he updates your credit card. Because yeah, in Earthbound, for all your purchases, you use we'll a credit card. Computer. And your dad gives you money for your credit card. And you go Sweet. to the store, you're like, oh, I got a credit card. I'm like, okay, here you go. Charging your credit card. Sweet. But yeah, awesome though. Well, Reggie, Mother 3 now, buddy. It's been translated. Yeah. That Also, uh, on the note of that, Mother 3, the, um, the person who translated it, is offering Nintendo the fan translation for free. And he offered if there's anything that needs to be done to it, or if it needs to be retranslated, he'll do it. He'll do it for free. Wow. Uh, no, he didn't say he would do it for free. He said he would give the current translation away, or he would help work mm -hmm. to retranslate. Obviously, he would get paid. Cause yeah. Well, he should if he's yeah. fucking doing all the work for it. Honestly, like. you pay one dude, and he's translated like a bunch of games too. A bunch of, I think it was a uh, One Piece, Unlimited Adventure, yeah. a lot of games like that. A lot of, those a lot of Japan exclusives. Exactly. So he's a pretty well-known like translator, and he's pretty. I really hope it does well. Yeah, yeah, and that would go that give him and Sam to re-release Mother Three on like the Hell, virtual console one. for I want on to the eShop. E I think Earthbound's actually a prequel to Mother One. Is it? Yeah, it's in the, it takes place in the past. Before what about Mother Zero? Because uh, that's no, the thing too. I th it's Earthbound Zero is what they call it. Oh, they call it Earthbound. Oh, it's Mother One. It's Mother One. Mother Two's Earthbound, and Mother Three is for the Game See, Boy. See, I get so confused. It is because they fucking do the whole Final Fantasy Three is actually six thing. Woo! Let's Woo. confuse the fuck out of everybody! Pretty much. Alright, let's not get too hung up on this. Are we yeah, just gonna move bad. to the, the freaking... The 3DS colossal amazing. Oh my god, yeah. the, the, the endless amount right. of 3DS Where to fucking begin? Uh, How about the new Legend of Zelda? Okay, I was gonna say that for, I was gonna say we should save that later, but we can yeah, dig into that now. Let's leave that... No, let's just blow our load right now. Let's just blow our load? What if I already blown my load? Well... That's one of the. That's one of the. Loads. Don't worry, I've got more than one. I mean, we've been talking about Earthbound, and I need to change trousers. Wait, no, let's let's, let's talk about Mario, or, or not Mario. Let's Make up your mind. Let's talk about Zelda. Okay. Talk about Zelda right let's, now. Let's All talk right. about Zelda. I'm, I'm I'm assuming you're referring to the Oracle games getting re-released on the eShop. Oh my God, you read my mind. I fucking did it. No way, dude. I we threw thoughts at each other. Yeah, you did. Yeah. They should just make more uh, telepathic motherfuckers. But anyway, tele was it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Telepathic? Yeah. Those are getting re released, the Oracle games. Yeah. I've never played them. So it's three releases for I've never played uh, them, Zelda the game yeah. at the time. Yeah, three. That's a lot. Three Zelda, oh. three well, Zelda hey, information well, no. um, tidbits, I'm going to say. Yeah. In, in this uh, Nintendo the Direct. The 
the Legend of Zelda HD. Well, it kind of as long as they don't drop the trickle ball, like, it in there, right? There and yeah, the Wind Waker, right? No, not just that. They were talking about an HD one. What? They were just like, "What is Zelda HD?" Bye bye. <laughs> Here at Nintendo, Zelda HD. Bye bye. <laughs> They literally like, <laughs> or Wii U, bye bye. <laughs> yeah, so it's, um, we got those two it's Zeldas. It's the past and, two, what is pretty that? much the new one. The new one that we're Is it in the same universe? universe? It is, it's a direct it sequel. Yeah, yeah it's, it, I, no. I believe Which in the like, Nintendo Direct, uh, they actually said Link to the Past 2. Yeah, so. that's how they refer to it. But it has the working title of uh, just Legend of Zelda for some reason. Yes, That's does. what they always do. Well, they, mean, they don't want to blow their yeah, load. Yeah. I think everyone's right. really surprised by this because everyone's expecting Majora's Mask for the 3DS. Oh, I was that expecting would be that. so good. They're probably going to do it. They, I, what they, they, um, yeah, they definitely are going to do it because I remember a while ago, a couple years ago, when 3DS first came out. Yeah. After the Ocarina of Time came out, yeah. they were talking about the next game was going to be an original game. Oh, God, I and remember this. after that, they're going to... Uh, they were kind of. There was I remember there's an interview with the creator, and he said I was interested in doing a sequel or a, a yeah, similar to Link, Link of the Past, Past, and here we are now, and this is out. That's crazy. Because yeah. I remember back then, it's well, like, it's, it's not whatever. Out. You're not going to make another yeah. Link to been the been Past. Announced, right? Well, the whole part of this they is totally so shocking. It's a, it's a modern day, brand new 2D Zelda. Yeah. Well, it's it's what? top it's it's top down 3D, right? I'll call it 2D style. So some of the mechanics that they're bringing in is it's back to two D. Uh, two, it's well, it's not really two D. Two D style Zelda. Two D style top down. It reminds with me with three dimensional yeah. feel to it. Um, but like, there, the, some of the things you saw in the like the wall, like you yeah, pop into a wall. You can a you can turn yourself into a painting on a wall so that you can traverse around corners on a wall. You know what that's get through like? that's barred like windows. Super Paper Mario. Yes. yes, very yeah. like that. Yeah, like you, you can. There, there's a scene in one of the in the Nintendo Direct uh, that they show him going through a barred yeah. window while he's mm. on the wall. That's what, uh, or that's getting a, across a gap. I think yeah. puzzles are gonna be like ridiculous. Yeah, so I was gonna say, like, yeah. they're gonna add some crazy puzzles and some crazy secrets into the. Because like it's, Phantom Hourglass, like that was how many years ago? Like probably. That was like, like 2008, I think. It was a long time ago. So that that was a that was a pretty tough game. It was like mm-hmm. a. I think, yeah, I think this is going to be a pretty decent game, and so Yo- yeah, no, we definitely have had a modern Zelda game in the past, like 2D. That was the Spirit Tracks. Not really. It's a different style. Is still. it? It is. I never yeah. played Spirit Tracks. This is, this is like well, we, this, is, this is the first is one in a long time that's been uh, top totally down. Top down. Okay, the thing, yeah. the yeah. thing with Phantom Hourglass was it still played like a 3D Zelda, but it's just top down. It still played yeah. with it. like the, like the slashing was the same. The dungeon navigation was really similar. That game was just... It was a good game. So Don't get me wrong, it's a good game, but it wasn't like a 2D isometric, like an old yeah. school Link to the Past. I, I get what you're saying. I just haven't played in a while, so yeah. my memory... But this, and the whole from, controlling the style has changed. From, too. from what we've seen it, though, it looks a lot like your classic Zelda. Yeah, it looks interchangeable. With yeah, that. top down, looks really good. I personally am now buying a 3DS XL. After um, this conference? After this conference, yeah. There's I've been games putting it off for a while because I've been contemplating a, like a, the a Vita or a, a 3DS. Either. Yeah. But this this conference, I've been like, ah, The fuck only the thing Vita. that the Vita has going for it is that you can play every single Persona game on it. That's about it. Don't care. That's all that's all. Don't care. Yeah, Honestly, yeah, wait, yeah. Wait, like five years for the Vita and then buy it yeah it'll probably be good in five years it'll probably be cheaper yeah oh, it will de- and it'll definitely cheaper. probably get a the couple next of by then. Yeah. PlayStation handheld will be out by then probably it'll be a phone and a camera and uh, have a PlayStation phone. um PSP. Uh, a vibrator all in one don't worry well, I was gonna say now. though for this Calling whole Zelda out, thing I'm the a guy new PlayStation handheld will also be a vibrator I was gonna say though for this whole Zelda thing I'm a, per- a guy that personally prefers Link to the Past to Ocarina of Time so I'm pretty stoked about this. I, at first, I was really iffy about it, but seeing how it all plays out and the verticality of it, how it really plays with the sense of going up in the There's dungeon. a lot of depth to like the game. Yeah, yeah, it looks really neat, well, yeah, and it's coming cool. out this year, sometime 2013. That surprised me a, like a lot. <laughs> I was not expecting a 2013 release. And they kept it pretty hush hush too. Yeah, yeah it was just like Legend of Zelda. There's like no leaked like, information. Coming in 2013. And I bet yes. you, if any information yeah, leaked, they would have said, "Oh, it's going to be Majora's Mask." Unless they leaked. And, and you know what? Past. They could have too. Yeah. Because they brought out Ocarina of Time for 3DS, right? So mm-hmm. they can just throw that around there being like, hey, it's just 
mature as math, don't worry about it. Yeah, pretty much. And yeah, that's, is that all we got for Zelda? That's pretty much all we got for Zelda. Alright, mm-hmm. what else we got in the list we want to talk about? Well, we... Donkey Kong. Or we want to get the Marios of the way. I was going to say Mario. Yeah, we could do Marios. Yeah. Alright, they were, let's talk about Mario. Let's do golf first. Yeah, that's what I was way. about to say. Mario yeah. Golf World Tour, I think. Yes. yes. Yeah. Mario Golf World Tour is getting some online like tournament play or something. Yes, like that. yeah, you can upload your scores from uh, from games you play online, and there will be online tournaments and stuff. You can set up your own tournaments with your friends. You don't have to connect directly to your friends. You can connect around like Street Pass. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah, and, and Ghost system. Data. Like kind of like Mario Kart. I don't no? know if they're doing Ghost yes. Data. Probably. Yes, they are. Most likely. Yes, they are. They're doing it just. They actually talk about that. They're doing just like Mario Kart, so you mm. can connect basically anyway. Yeah, and you can probably beat your friends' scores on. It's one game I never bought. I never bought Mario Kart. It's it's okay. I'd say the Wii one's better. Is it? Uh, it's. I don't know. So there's not, it, it doesn't feel original. like. I, isn't, I enjoy my like you know every every once in a while. I'd say I'd almost, I'd almost say the DS one's better. Is it? Marker DS. I don't know because isn't this game doesn't feel like there's a lot of substance to it. Like the racing mechanics. Oh are cool no, it's the GameCube one sucked ass. Well, what Double Dash? Yeah, I hate that, that was good. I hate don't get an argument about this. It'll never end. Right, we're not going to discuss yeah, that. No. That's a different. Type. I love Double Dash. We should not get, as much as I love. Do we should do? We should have a debate we, section once every one in a while, but not right now, but later down the line. We should talk and have like a big discussion about yeah. that. The reason I like the Wii version better though. Is because of, it revisits everything. It's just like yo, have every track pretty much that has ever been in a Mario Kart game. That's just, cool. just play it, yeah. and I'm like, I'm okay, getting down. Oh, yeah. right, so was... I think the Wii one did a better job of all Although that. Although the motion the controls are terrible, just use the game controller. Yeah. All right, so we got World Tour, and then there's Mario Party. Mario Party. I'm so excited for that. I it's think been... it looks really cool because again, you can play with. Play with friends. You can play with random people too. It's the same thing as Mar. I'm pretty sure it's the same thing as Mario World Tour. You can just connect anywhere. That's exciting. The only thing I'm a little bit worried about is I was watching the trailer and it looked like they're doing kind of like board, like board events slash mini. For a second, I think you said they're doing a board game thing. I was just go, "Are you fucking kidding me?" No, <laughs> they're doing a board game no. thing with Mario but Party. There, it's parts that are definitely from nine. Well. Mm-hmm. They're. And nine I, I think what they're going to do is they're going to do the solo I hope they puzzles, they, yeah, and then there will be some that are group puzzles as well. But so they kind of tie the two together. Uh, another thing I'm hoping they don't do is bosses. Like they did bosses in nine, okay. where you okay, you would all be in the same car, and it's a linear path to the end, pretty much, and it's just a straight shot. No going around the board collecting stars. No, they don't do that in this one. They don't. For, no. As far as we everyone can see. is, if as far as the footage that we've seen in the, the Nintendo Direct conference, I hope there's a board. It, everyone is separate. Like they show, yeah, um, no, I know they're separate. Yeah, but I'm saying, is there an end to the board? Yes. Is it like a straight line? The sh- I, I like, think you can do laps, like going around. I'm, I, I I'm just hoping because I know in a, in a in a section that I I thought was pretty cool was the dice changes depending on where your character is on the map. See. So there's there's a section where there's big giant bullet bills that go across and where everyone needs right? to go by. Yeah, and you have to you can when you go to a spot you either choose to stay there or go to a cave. And if you're in the cave, like you you can't Get you have way. to you have to spend a turn to come out, and then your next turn you roll. So basically, what happens is if you roll the bullet bill on the on the dice, the bullet bill goes across and knocks everybody off. So it's kind of like that risk and reward thing, right? So, but see, that's like that's the whole board events that I'm talking about. That's why I'm afraid it's going to be a linear board, and there, and once you get to the end, the game is over, and that's what I'm worried about. Because if it's I anything like that. nine, they did they didn't have stars in nine. Stars didn't exist in nine. They were called mini stars. I didn't see anything about stars in any of the that, footage. Unfortunately, you know we're gonna have to but wait and see. We're gonna have to wait and see. All I know is if it's like nine, I'm not gonna buy it because nine was mm-hmm. absolutely garbage. It was. All right, I get it. it I'm ruined, someone who hates all Mario. It like ruined Mario Party. the Mario. It pisses Party. me off. It ruined the Mario. Party I like the guy. If you play with, I'd probably like end up punching you in the face or like breaking the controller. Like don't get me wrong, the Mario Party franchise needed some like revitalization. But that it didn't get what. But it, it did it in the completely wrong yeah. way and removed all of what Mario Party yeah. was. Mm-hmm. And that's why I don't do, like nine. A lot of games suffer from sequels that do that. But speaking of sequels, the next game I think we're talking about is going to be Mario Party, Mario and Luigi Dream Team. 
Yes. Yeah. I, yes. I'm surprised they're actually making a, more, a new Mario Luigi game. Ever An since. RPG like that, yeah. Yeah, because they... Were... Is the Bowser's Inside Story, yeah, the Bowser... which is really good. Well, wh- it, it looks actually really good um, from the footage that they showed us on the, on the uh, Nintendo Direct conference. Um, because it shows that you need to use Luigi as powers, mm-hmm. essentially. It almost looks like it, it, he's kind of like almost this main character. It's kind of like we're ba- yeah, in Bowser's really, Inside well, Story. It's the year of the Luigi, yeah. right? So. In Bowser's Inside Story, because Bowser's kind of like the main character. He had all the world navigation, whereas Mario and Luigi were stuck in his stomach or whatever. Yeah. And then, so Bowser, it's almost like you're Bowser's the main character, and the other two are just kind of side characters. You're in Luigi's mind, right? You're in the Nick's dreams. Yeah, basically, all throughout the... Uh, all throughout the world, there's there's like pillows. Yeah. And Luigi goes and has a nap, and that's the the level you go into. Yeah. And you, you go into his dream, and mm-hmm. like there there was somewhere it's like you use multiple Luigi's like yeah there's like that there's power like, Luigi's and it's, yeah or um there's a part where he Mario's on a ball and it's just, the ball is of packed Luigi's into like a giant snowball and it's rolling around and you're picking up more and more Luigi's and then you get to the end and there's a big group of enemies and you like kick the ball of Luigi's into them to get points. Mm. Hmm. So I, I think it looks yeah, no, pretty it looks, entertaining. It looks really cool. I'm really hoping there's some reoccurring characters from the other games. Like, uh, Flawful, Lawful, I think his name is, in the Super... Are like, uh, there more Luigi games? The GBA? He's like the main bad guy of Inside Story? Mm-hmm. He's fucking hilarious. Whoever writes his dialogue like, deserves a gold medal. He's, <laughs> he's an awesome villain, and I hope... He's back in some way, shape, or form, or oh. some reoccurring villain. But yeah, no, like the reason why I didn't think Mario and Luigi was coming back is because uh, Paper Mario came out not that long ago. The Sticker Star. Uh, and like you, you think the they would rebring like the Paper Mario series back and you know have one RPG. Series. I would be down for that. I would be okay. With That's why I wasn't Paper expecting Mario a, a Mario and Luigi game. Yeah, because they do play pretty differently. <laughs> yeah, they do play pretty differently. You know what? I would really like an actual like sequel to Thousand Year Door. I would too, because I played Pop- Paper Mario. For the 3DS? Yeah. And I wasn't... I didn't like it that you much. You didn't like it that much? Well, A, half of the charm of that game comes from having the different party members, because Mario doesn't actually talk or anything. <sighs> and they just like, no, you're the, Mario's the only character. And the whole sticker system was really... It's, and, it's so watered yeah. down. It feels like a yeah. watered down version of Thousand Year Old Door, and, and I didn't want that. At least it's not Super Paper Mario. I'd rather play that. That game pissed me off. I'd rather play that I, for the 3DS. I remember when that came out, and I thought it was a sequel to... Um, Getting all hype, like, and I was yes! like, yeah, it's another, um, it's another RPG. I'm like, I'm so <laughs> stoked for this. I put it in, and I'm like, so uh, when is it going to get to these uh, RPG battles? And I'm like, yeah, you know, a couple hours in, I'm like, it's not going to happen, is it? So it's just platforming the whole way through. It was like fighting. Like, I honestly say I'd take that game over the, really? one about, the over Sticker oh. Star. Sticker Star is, is so watered down. It was it was false it pretenses in my in my book. Just it was just like hey, this one was for me. It's Let's a zoom, game. zoom, false pretenses, and zoom. Yeah, so. let's do it. But yeah, it was, it was like Super Mario. I'm like, oh, new Paper Mario, sweet. And then it's just it dashed my hopes, and I'm like, oh, yeah. I, I went into it expecting a thousand year old door, and I definitely did not get that. That game is oh, a thousand year door. Just it's phenomenal. Such, it's such a good game. Anyway, I think there's one last Mario related game aside from the Mario versus Donkey Kong, whatever. No one cares. Mario about. versus Donkey Kong. A new one. Congratulations, you got a yeah. new one. I don't even know what the hell it's island. called. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. And I was gonna say Yoshi's Island Three. Yes. Is the next one. Because yes. Mario's involved in that because he's a baby. Yes. Yeah. And he cries a lot. He kind of wants to strangle him. So that would be Super Mario World 5? 4, wouldn't it? 4. Yeah, 4. Yoshi's, uh, Yoshi uh, 3, whatever. So it would be Super Mario World 4, Yoshi's Island 3. Now there's a subtitle for you folks. That's because, a because the original Yoshi's Island was Super Mario Bros. Or Super Mario World 2. Yeah. We they should. didn't do that for the DS one, though. They no, said, they didn't, but yeah. we what, all know in but what it, kind of, it reminds me a lot of Yoshi's story for yeah, the Yoshi's N64. Story. That's what, the art style of it right? Yeah, they grabbed the art style from Yoshi's story, and then they like threw it back in the old style of just Yoshi's Island. I wish it looked more like Yoshi's Island, personally. Yeah, I love the hand-drawn graphics of the original Super Nintendo version. I don't know. I, I think a game like that is so much better in like, pure TV. Actually, I've actually never played the Super Nintendo version. I played the... DS? One on... No, not the DS one. I played the one on... GBA? GBA. That's where I first played. I got it with my original... Um, That's a good way to play it. It's I got it my, with, when I got my Game Boy Advance when it first came yeah. out. Because I definitely prefer a straight 2D game like that. I think with the art style they have, it works so much better in 2D. And I 3D. still... I'm so excited for that game. I'm iffy. I'm iffy on that. Uh, moving on to the next game, I guess. 
Donkey Kong real quick? Yeah, we had uh, Donkey Kong Country Returns 3D. They so, talked about that a while ago. Did they actually get a release date? They announced their release date. Yeah, conference. I think they oh, okay. announced the release date. It's so. in July, right? I've never played uh, Yeah, either. July. It's middle of July. There's a yeah. lot of shit coming out in um, July. There's just so many games coming out this summer, so I'm stoked. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because normally summer is the dry period. Of it's going to be like um, September, of, or not September, but like the fall of last year. Yeah. When it was just like games, 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 games. And you're like, I can't play all this. Yeah. Oh, Put back but on. honestly, I love it when there's a lot of games that come out all at the same time. Makes you feel better. Time. It always it really gives you something does. to look forward to. It's almost, it's almost too much. It's, at it's some like points. it's like the summer that the Avengers came out for movies. Oh, there were so many amazing summer. movies that came out that summer that I just like. That's just last summer, every, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah it was yeah. last summer. Dark Knight um, Rises, Avengers. Yeah, it was like every week going to see a new amazing movie. And it See, feels really good. It's different though. It's like you know, you're in there. Well, you're in the I, I don't know about you, hours. but like, I can usually beat a game. In, no, like, Brock's definitely the same. I'm definitely the He's same. He's insane. Part you know, you know, come on. Hey, hey, come on. Come on. Yeah, it's come on. none of us. None of us, none of us. None of us are a one-hour hour. Oh, oh yeah. Swotor. Me and Brock. What? What? Spend like what? Thirty hours straight playing Swotor. We played. We played like days. Yeah. There were there was like three days straight where I remember me and when, you were never offline. Yeah, there was two. Yeah. I remember when Darren and Blake showed up at my house. Yeah, you're like I, I can't. I, I probably hadn't showered like two, three it's days. It's pretty gross. And like yeah, Brock, yeah. this is disgusting. I'm like, dude. And you're like, what level are you? I'm like, uh, what was the max on like 60, 50. 50? Yeah. I was like, oh, 49. Uh, Sorry, guys. I'm almost like, saying, like, are you fucking serious? I'm like, yeah. yeah. Like, dude, this just came out like two days ago. You like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. That Three was... days in, we're max level. Hey, Some of the only max level people in the game. Uh, and there's nothing to do because I no still, I'm still, I'm, I still take the title of, or I, well, I, I'm, I'm titling myself as one of the first fifties in that game. Well, both hey, of us were. Yeah, no, that, yeah, exactly. I'm saying we were one of the two first fifties in that game. I say we should get back on topic because we oh, totally yeah, said Donkey Kong Country and we totally like, um, forgot to mention that it's basically the Wii game. Yep. But with with new difficulty on it and a new um, world. Oh, they're yes. actually adding new content. New yes, they content. are. I it's thought it was it's new content. Um, I thought it was going to be too, and that's what they surprised me. Basically, with. what they did was they, they gave you new difficulty where you have um, extra lives, so you can be hit an extra time. Yeah, they add some um, variants to, to Donkey Kong and did Yeah, Kong. but you can also select the original difficulty, so you only have um, three or two hearts per character yeah. instead of three per character. Um, so you can go the harder difficulty um, because it's on a handheld, they felt yeah. it will be harder. Um, they use a lot of the 3D, like you go into the screen and out yeah, of the screen. Yeah, that was carried and, in the Wii game. And, and in the middle of the screen, so you kind of go all over the screen. And um, I'm definitely looking forward to though, because the there's... Wii version, you have to shake the Wii remote to roll and to do certain actions. I'm yeah. so glad that's not going to be there. I actually get to play the buttons. Yes. Hey, game developers, buttons always Work. But Darren, I wanted to shake my 3DS just so I could use shake it's my like DS. It's like Donkey Kong for the... <laughs> I used, yeah, I used to like flick my Donkey DS Kong screen, so the screen's like this and like shit. <laughs> Darren owns it now. And it's like, it's really jibbed. Oh yeah, I don't It's like I literally, don't I'm sorry about that. You fucking so bastard. I'm kidding. Uh, it was I'm the actually first, not. It, it was the first DS I got when yeah. it first came out. It was... Yeah. Um, uh-huh. What else is there in that game? Oh, there's also um, crash protection for when you're in carts with the easier difficulty. There's crash protection, so you get extra when you're in a cart um, or death. a barrel. It's not insta death. That game is a really fun game, though. So I'm yeah. Pro- even though I still have it, I've, my I've way, got I'm the original like, Donkey yeah, Kong it. Country in it's black and white. Oh, I've got awesome. black and white Donkey, Donkey Kong Country for Game Boy. Oh, with my original Game Boy. I have Donkey Kong Country too, and I've never played it. Donkey Kong I Country. Freaking amazing! I'd be playing the cartridge out because I got it from a thrift store and had a bunch of like chocolate in it. Nice. It was like a melted did chocolate. Eat, bar. Did you eat the chocolate? Huh. Are you sure it was chocolate? Not you know, shit? it was definitely chocolate. <laughs> Someone hit them enough to shit <laughs> in it. Mm, that's not chocolate. It was like really cheap, and I cleaned it out. And I took it apart, cleaned out the alcohol, and it's an interesting condition now. Yeah. So have we covered all like the new announcements aside from localization? We did miss one, and that is um, there was a little more information on Animal Crossing. Oh, that's right. You're um, right. They announced the subtitle for it. Yes. No. New Leaf's been around for a long time. Oh, has it? Oh yeah. yeah. God, I keep sneezing. Um, they announced that they're bringing out a new 3DS with it. 
Um, the yeah, Animal we, Crossing 3DS. Um, and we, I'm not a big fan of the design of the new one. It, honestly, I'm not either. I would. I, I would prefer the. the is the Charizard one coming over to North America? I is that Japan don't think only? so. I'm pretty sure the it's Japan The Pikachu only. one is. That's the weird. Pikachu one's coming over to, yeah. Japan, or to North America, but. Um, the I think the only thing they really announced in it is that you can go in and sleep in a bed in your um, in, in your town, and when doing that, you can go and while you're sleeping, go visit <laughs> other people's towns, and basically fuck shit up. And is that the towns you street passed, or is that your friends' towns? Uh, it's like towns that you've been to before. Okay. So um, you can basically go into those towns and fuck around in them and break things and move things around. Can you bring stuff back from them? No, you can't. Yeah. But what you can do is, let's say you go and you see a um, area that you like and you like the design of it. You can take like a, I'm going to say screenshot, uh, but it's not really a screenshot. You can take like a, like a memory picture of it, I'm going to say, and then you can look back at it to, to help make it yourself. So mm-hmm. you can bring things from other ones into your... Interesting. Okay. Yeah. Because, yeah, you're the mayor in this game, and you're not yeah. completely indebted to Tom Nook for the rest of your life. Or are you? Or is he, like, blackmailing you? No. Blackmailing you? He doesn't work in the town. He doesn't even work at the store anymore. He's a real estate agent. He Somehow he's, you're going to owe him money, and he's going to be, like, secret, secretly running the town. And there is one other game we missed. He's the Illuminati. Again? Uh, yeah. Tom Nook is the leader of the Illuminati. <laughs> The other game we missed is uh, Lego. I'm interrupt you, but okay, can, you, can you picture this? Tom Nook sitting there, like just like screaming at the other board I'm members more of the Illuminati. <laughs> has like the leader of like the mafia, mm. and he's just like, "I'm gonna break your fucking legs." <laughs> he's like, no, he's, he's always <laughs> freaking break the fuck legs. out. Like you know, like, like a Billy Club and shit. Yeah, yeah. like walking. You should be walking. I'm not allowed to be walking anymore. Christopher Walken. That's, that's the only way you can get around. Alright, so Lego, Lego Um, City. Yeah, the other one we missed was Lego City Undercover. I'm so stoked for Lego. The Chase Begins. Basically, what this game is, Is it's the prequel to the Wii U. To the Wii U Lego City Undercover. I have a a younger brother, and he bought the game for the Wii U. Is it fun? It's pretty cool. It's like a. Imagine a Lego game that's like an open world. That's cool. Yeah. It's like, you know what? They had one before. They had one a long time ago. Lego Island. Lego Island for PC. It's like that. Yeah, you know what? Probably the funnest game I've Lego ever played. Lego Island was the shit. It was dude. so awesome, and this I don't know where my cool. copy went. It's pretty cool. So if it, if it's open world like Lego Island, was, it should be co op though. That's my problem. I with the Wii U one. Yeah. Dude, why is it co op? I don't but, know. All the other Lego games are co op. But basically, you what think this it's no brainer. What what this uh like oh I, this Lego City undercover is oh, yeah. um the chase begins is the prequel to the Wii U one, which shows you how he come, becomes a undercover co op. Basically, an undercover cop. It's like him just becoming a cop, and like the op- they show the opening scene. You like walk in, and the police chief is like, "Yo, bitch, go get me donuts." <laughs> like straight up. What he's is like GTA. He's I like he's some... like he's like, "What are you doing here? Go- I'm out of donuts. Go get me some." Like, and they're like, "Okie dokie." He comes back like, "Man, you do some damn fine work, yeah. son." Yeah, and it's, it's basically you going and That's becoming the legend that you are in the Wii U games. So. Yeah. Okay. It, it has potential. I, I can see, like, I can just imagine, like, the Wii U version, like, an M-rated version of it being, like, GTA and, like, Lego drugs. It's just, like, those Yo, little, it's, like, those, like, circle pieces all over the table and shit. <laughs> like, <it's> <laughs> like, <laughs> I was gonna say, though, the, the gore is, like, still, like, we you kill someone, like, they'll fall apart. So, like, the Lego Ow. gore. <laughs> well, not Brock's incapacitated because like, he yeah. smoked his leg on the table. Like, no, that was definitely his toe. Oh, yeah. nice. Brock's going to yeah. be in pain for a few seconds. So. If you I'm don't right. hear from Brock, it's actually because right. he's dead. I'm all right. He's incapacitated. <laughs> he, he's saying he's dead, but the look, he's all right, but the look on his face shows that he's dead. I gotta say, I got some good news for our friends over in Europe. You're finally getting Fire Emblem. By yes. the time this is up, you've already had it. And if you haven't, if you don't have it, what the fuck are you doing? Get you out. Know? Stop listening. Wait, no. Finish the podcast. Yeah, then go yeah, out. Finish first. This is on iTunes. Listen to it while you drive to the store. Ooh, and yeah. demand they give you a copy of Fire Emblem. Yeah, give great. them some money, and then you go home and you play the shit out of Just it. Just walk up with all your money in your hands and be like, take it. And beat it on Lunatic so you can say you're better than Darren. I'm going to say this right now. Lunatic? That game was not designed on Lunatic. Then what is Lunatic Plus? Don't even get me started. Boom, bitch. Boom. Oh. Oh, my God. You just got got thrown down. Oh, my God. 
I you better, you better come up with some lunatic. sort of. Because I'm, I'm the fire emblem guy. I better like, come up with them, some sort of. Fire emblem guy and can't even be lunatic. I'm working on it. Not in the hardest difficulty. Whoa. Not in the hardest difficulty. I hate you all. Get on my level. You're not. You go beat it once. <laughs> you probably couldn't even beat on ass. normal. Probably could. <laughs> probably could. Probably could. Prove me wrong. I'm gonna prove you wrong. After I beat Revenge. <laughs> no, 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 no. Sit right there. Sit right fucking there. I really don't want to play right now. Sit right fucking there. Brock's gonna go lose his first battle that he ever does. I think he's just gonna let me the game. Here you go. Starting again. Beat on normal. Have fun. Don't die. Don't lose anybody. Okay. If you're playing casual, I'm, I'm gonna smack gonna... you. Why would I play in casual? I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah. That's weird that you You are, uh, what, what was it? What did, what did we call him? What did you call him? Ca dirty casual. Semi -casual, casual Brock? Brock? Casual Brock. You casual dirty Brock? casual. Yeah. Casual Brock? So casual. Casual Brock, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. There's, but there's for this whole direct conference, I think the last two things, there's two, well, one of them's a major thing, and the other one's a really small one. We left out a game. Oh, we did. And this I, is throwing thoughts at each other. Oh my We're god, like, we totally did. I was gonna save it for last anyway, so I'm glad that we forgot it. You forgot it. I remembered it. I want it. I want it. Devin oh, Tuna, yeah. you get this. This yeah. is yours. You know what? He's just gonna start mumbling. He's like, I can't. Um, what's it called? Bravery Default Flying Fairy. Yes, yes it is. Which is part of a series this that's a manga game. series in Japan. This game. A couple other, it's a game oh series my god, well. this so game. It basically... So good! Well, the other Bravery Default games are very traditional, so they often get compared... Every Because every, every JRPG ever gets compared to Final Fantasy. Yeah, well, yeah. that's because it's the main JRPG series It's the one there. that the... made the genre popular. Yeah, exactly. Even though we should be comparing to Dragon Quest. Ooh, and okay. 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 Let's get back here. This game I'll let you gush. looks so amazing. It brings me back to a 3D, more 3D, better graphic looking, like Star Ocean. Um, the battle sequences look super amazing. You can't even I, talk. I can't even, you can't talk. even formulate words like, to describe this game. I. Take my money, my my life. Well, it's already taking my money. Um, you're, you're it will totally. buy so Yeah, it's, so it's already it's already taking my money. Um, my shirt here. Take oh, my shirt. It, it owns his shirt um, now. It can you, you can keep your pants though. Yeah, no, no, <laughs> take my pants too. Oh god! Like I want Me this game. Nintendo do not want your pants. <laughs> yeah, Nintendo. Do you want? Do you want? You want? Shirts. You want? That's too bad. You're taking my pants too. I want this game. I want it now. Ah, it's been fuck. in Japan for almost a full year now. I so like a lot of and Japanese it it looks like the spiritual sequel to Final Fantasy V, which has a crazy ass job system that makes the game. That's the entire reason people play Final Fantasy V is for that job system alone. And now we got a brand new RPG. It's a classical style that has that job system. I want it. He's like and enemies vibrating. He is. He's like sitting. He's shaking. Oh my god! And Final Fantasy and the, and the enemies in this game also have a have a job system going for them too. Yes. So it's a double. So it's going both yes, ways. It's, it's not just you as like eight well, jobs. Like Basically, of good. the of the three the three of us, I am the only one without a 3ds because um, I've been putting it off. <laughs> well, you're gonna give me your XL. No, um, I'm not giving you my you XL. Giving it to me. I'm not giving um, I'll give you a shirt and his but, pants. Yeah, I'll give you my my shirt and my pants. You don't want to. You don't want to take them. Yeah. Would no, you? Yeah. No. You um, but basically, this Nintendo Direct conference has convinced me to buy a 3DS XL instead of a Vita. You don't want to. Because I was contemplating between decision. the two of them. Um, I mean, it, it was it, it was should have been an easy decision. But now it's even easier. But now it's like it's like an definite. impossible decision. It's, been an, easy, yeah. it's been an easy decision ever since like yeah. the beginning of this year. Because yeah. I'm gonna I get I'm, I'm gonna get Golden Mario Game, Golf World Tour. Um, depending on whether or not Mario Party looks good, I'll get that. Don't play tennis. It's like a really bad. Um, it's really bad. <laughs> they just like butchered the board. There's there's just so many games in this conference that. I'm looking at them and I'm basically just shitting my pants. The only so sad part so about Bravery Default is that it's probably not coming out until 2014, which is unfortunate. But 
we're getting it. It's going to be localized. I want and it. That's Hell, you'll have to be on Wednesday forward. forward. I was about to say. I was about to say they announced the release date and a collector's edition because the game originally priced at fifty dollars and everyone's freaking out because that's ten dollars more. Is that fifty dollars for collector's edition? It's that's the only edition they're selling at launch. So go oh, reserve so your copies now. They're only selling the collector's edition for fifty bucks. You get the collector's edition. Comes with the oh, are they comes with the OST from composed from all the Shimigami Tensei games. Like a best of CD. Oh sweet! Comes with a hundred page art book slash guidebook to get you through the first like five hours of the game. Because okay. those these games are all ridiculous, the, the, right? They're pretty. They're like the most <laughs> hardcore JRPGs you'll ever play. Yeah. But they're amazing. You can kill I, I God love, in them. I love JRPGs. You can so much. fight God. And it's multiple endings. It's going to be epic. Looks amazing. Comes out July 16th. I was going to say, though, all these 3DS games are pretty much coming out this year. Yeah. That's just blows that's, my mind. That's the big thing. I think this is a, this is a really good time for the 3DS, too. Well, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like, go if you look at it, like, looking at the past games that have come out that even, like, even, especially for, like, handhelds in general, like the Vita, just kind of dropped it. It had Unlaunch. it had Persona Four well, Golden, and that's the all you can see. Well, it that had like Unchar- the uh, the Vita Uncharted. Oh God, it's and... not even a good enough argument. No, no, but like at, at launch for the Vita, there was just it's pretty really impressive. Nothing for a launch is the Vita for, yeah good for a launch, but then it just couldn't sustain yeah. itself. There's no continued support throughout it. The same thing can be said about the 3DS launch. The 3DS had a it's, shit the, it's the exact launch. opposite. Yeah. It, it had the, the like, a terrible launch. But honestly, I would rather yeah. have a shitty launch and then it just take off. Well, yeah. It wasn't like that for the first like good year of the uh, 3DSs. It was like yeah. incredibly frustrating. It was depressing. There was nothing out. It and was. It, and then I was fire looking. I was looking for games to buy. Like I bought Street Fighter for the 3DS because that was it, and yeah. I wanted to play something in 3D. The, I think the only reason Nintendo got the 3DS out so early is because they wanted to beat the Vita to the market. Yeah. Oh, and it I doesn't really matter if there were no games. People would have bought it. Yeah, like we did. I kept mine. I sold mine like immediately because I was infuriated. You sold your with Vita? It. No, my 3DS. Oh, your 3DS. But I have an XL now, which I'm really happy with, and I oh. like it so much better than the original design. And they're also going to bring over the Circle Pad Pro to the XL now because a lot more mm-hmm. games are actually supporting it mm-hmm. in the North America, not just. Now your 3DS can be like a fucking laptop. It's not Woo! that big. It makes it's it, not that big. It does make it bigger. It though. does make it bigger, but it's not as big as anyone. It looks ever pretty clunky it. though. Well, yeah, you don't. It's like, put, it's like holding an end gauge. It comes. No, an end gauge <laughs> is like holding a taco <laughs> to the side of your head. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! Have any of you guys actually used a briefcase cell phone? No, because yeah, those could probably like give you cancer. No, because or those give you neck problems. I've got I've got a briefcase phone at home. the The phone weighs like more than your laptop, and it's like why do you have that? Seven inches long and like three inches. Nuclear thick. apocalypse. Um, my dad had a whole bunch of old cell phones. Like, he had one of the very first cell phones that ever came out because he needed it for business. Which, you know, you know, and then turned into a briefcase phone because the battery is in the briefcase. Yeah. yeah. They're fucking ridiculous. You have to carry around the briefcase Yeah, no. with your phone. Jim's remember... really depressing. What? I gotta buy a lot of games really soon. Yeah. So how broke are you guys? How in debt am I going to be? <laughs> That's question. a better question. Because games are going to buy for sure. Let's just, I have this. Before we finish off let's list all the games you're gonna buy for sure like without a doubt no matter like for Mario Party don't list that because you guys are I iffy on it that. so I can't list it. just list the ones that as soon as it, like you don't even need to look Zelda. at reviews okay so you got Zelda that's Which, every, that's everyone no just I say all three I'm gonna well not all I'm gonna well obviously I'm not gonna buy both of them I'm gonna buy one of the yeah. Game Boy Color ones I'll buy one of the Oracle games I'm not going to I'm gonna I've always the, wanted to play I'm gonna, I wanna buy a sequel to Link to the past. I'll buy both of those yeah, for sure. So I got two. two for me. Link to the past two. Um, definitely gonna get um, Mario and Luigi Dream Team. I'm gonna I'm gonna say I'm gonna wait. From more. what I've seen, it looks a lot of fun. I mean, yeah, I'm gonna wait a little bit. I think it looks too samey for me, so I'm not gonna list that as a day one buy for me. Um, Donkey Kong Country. Donkey Kong Country is a day one, is, is a day one for me. I had so much fun playing the original Donkey Kong Country. You're gonna love this one, though. Um, if you decide not to buy it, I when I'm done with it, I'll lend it to you. Yeah. Don't worry. We can play co-op. Oh, we will. You want me left out, bitch? Oh, so gas, motherfucker. You know what games haven't been done on the 3DS in a long time? Download play. Does that even exist anymore? Street Fighter has it. 
Well, there you go. <laughs> it has Make a that shit download though. play Nintendo. Uh, what else we got? Um, Bravery Default. Bravery Default show. is in <laughs> my soul now. Uh, it's gonna haunt you. It's gonna bother oh you. God. Like when I was waiting, I'm gonna have wet dreams about. I've been that waiting game for on Fire Emblem 3DS before it came out in February. I was waiting on that for like three years. Mm. I was so stoked for that game. I remember when it got it got announced for North America. You almost like shit your pants. No, you lost your <laughs> shit. You just completely went. Insane. I couldn't. I couldn't even. You couldn't like it. function on a day to day basis. What else we got? Should we go ahead and say four? I'm buying for sure. I. Four, you know what? I'm gonna hold and wait for a little more on that to see a little more. I'm gonna tell you right now. So what you're saying is I'm gonna, gonna be, buy it. You're probably gonna buy it. Yeah. Because okay. it's. Oh, really cool. that's five. It, for imagine. Me. Imagine though, the, the, the whole game plays out. It's. It's meant to be you're the main character. Yeah. And there's multiple endings and like all Ooh. these different branching dialogue trees. And it's all I mean, about, all I'm the original ones are about alignment for like lawful. It goes back to like, that harkens back to like the old D&D of like lawful, neutral, just, chaotic, all the, that. The only problem is I'm just going to have to figure out how to pronounce the game. Shin, Shin Megami Tensei. Shin Megami Tensei. Four. Four. Okay. I got it. Because the one I'm playing right now, Soul Hackers, is like a spin off title of this main series. Okay. Yeah. So, so yeah. that's five for me. Six for you? Yes. Kinda. No, I, think we're, I think we both have five because you weren't going to do Dream Team. But I was buying one of the Oracle games. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait. And Earthbound. Six. Oh, yeah. Earthbound. That's six. Do you have a Wii U? No. You can't play it. Uh, we'll play Sad it. Face. I'll buy it and bring it to Brock's. Brock's, you're buying Earthbound. You'll buy it on my Wii U. I'm down. <laughs> okay. So, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy Earthbound for Brock. Earthbound marathon here. Uh, sure. Um, that'd be a freaking sweet ass thing to do. So that do it. Earthbound has <clears throat> before we end this. I gotta say this. Earthbound has some of the funniest NPC dialogue you'll ever do. And like you, it's one of those games you're gonna hunt down everyone to talk to. Because they shit, they say crazy shit. It's funny as Borderlands Two. No, 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 no. Borderlands Two. Uh, raging diggers. Raging. No, 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 no. This raging game will destroy diggers. Borderlands Two. It's NPC uh, dialogue. Uh, no, 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 no. This game, like, set the standard for what NBC dialogue, like, needs to be if it wants to be considered good. Because you never hear people talk about that in a review of a JRPG. They never go, oh, yeah, the NBC is really interesting to talk to. They yeah, rarely you know say what? That, that is really true, because a lot of JRPGs that I play, I will fucking skip through. I have a dog. It's just, like, mash it, like, for, like, Final Fantasy VII, the first time I played through. There's, maybe like, hardly maybe, any interesting ones. Yeah, maybe the first time I read what people were saying ever since the first time I played it, it's just, like, mash the X button, get through as quick as possible. Yeah. That's one of those games. Well, other than that, time. I think that's about it. I think it's all we were about to say, except if you have games, a 3DS, you're going to be sorry. If I'm if, sorry. If not, go buy a 3DS and then be sorry with us. And get a get Fire Emblem Awakening to make yourself feel better about yourself. You can't live without well, it. Well, then you'll play Lunatic, and then you'll feel sorry again. You'll feel sorry for life in general. Well, guys. Um, oh, <laughs> is that all you got? One, one more thing. Um, if you are on GameStop for the uh, Shin Megami Tensei 4 with the forty nine ninety nine cost, yeah. so the $50 cost, it says they've, they've put it on there with free upgrade to the limited edition box set. So they're saying they're selling the normal for the 50 bucks, but it has the... Extra upgrade. Mm-hmm. It's a free it's only guarantee. at launch, I hope it's not and then after the, it's going to be a no, what? I hope it's not as disappointing as that CD from Soul Hackers. Soul Hackers. It was like the, six the, songs. Yeah, the of Soul Hackers one is six remix songs from it, but this one is an OST that's from all the different Shimagami Tensei yeah, games. Yeah, I'm just wondering how many tracks it is. I'm hoping it's like a twenty track. It'll yeah. probably be twenty. That, that'd be that'd be enjoyable because you need, you need new, new music for your car. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, guys. Thanks for being here. Thanks for talking. Those listening, thanks. This has been Insert Podcast here. Hope to see you next time. Do any last words? Goodbye. Hello. Ciao. That's mine. Uh, Arriva Dare. No, Arriva Dare. What is Arriva Dare? Um, I, I don't know. know. Arriva Dare. Peace.